personality now in the modelling business is really very key. I think it's absolutely essential. There's absolutely no doubt that the girls that are coming through now um, and, and making it are girls that do have that extra personality, you know, whether it's girls of ours like the Hearty Prince who's got a wonderful personality, Agnes Dunn, who without a doubt, she's a great looking girl, but you know, the additional um, interesting um, and strong personality is obviously what's making her, you know, go the extra distance. Well, I first heard of Bahati and Tanya Deer. Bahati, because my daughter was in South Africa and she's an agent here, and she'd seen Bahati in the street and thought she was a great looking girl in Cape Town, had gone into our agency in Cape Town and just, lo and behold, thank goodness, she happened to be with us. They'd just taken her on. I don't think they truly understood what they had. I think they were sort of using her for sort of catalogue. But we thought she was wonderful and Noelle called me and I happened to be in Cape Town and she said, come immediately. And I remember that Bahati was out on the um, veranda in my office in Cape Town. And I was watching her and I just thought she was amazing. The way she moved, the way she talked. You know, she's, got, she's another person. She's rather like Kate. She's lively. She's full of life. She's a positive person. She's fun. You know, she communicates well. And, you know, there was something really catching about her. And obviously, I mean, she looks great. She's the right height. She's got a really interesting face. So we brought her straight away to London. She did a photo shoot. It was very exciting. And then Tanya D, well, we saw her on a video. Um, it was a Russian scout that we know. And he brought in literally, I mean, I think we sat through 100 girls or more. I think we were all nearly blinded. And she was the one girl that really stood out. She was fantastic. And I kept asking new faces, what's happened to that girl, Tanya Lee? But she was very young and, and she'd had a situation whereby in Belarus, where she comes from, um, you know, they don't like models there. I think, you know, that there's a very difficult political situation regarding models and her mother actually, it, even though she's terribly young, it enabled her to live. They had to move from Belarus and it was good for her, the modeling, but you know, it's a different culture. It's, and she's just magnificent. I mean, she's got such a wonderful personality and she's just gorgeous. I mean, she just, she's showstopping. I mean, you know, if you saw her walking down the street, she's absolutely, she's another face that will endure and she will just get better and better. great girl that I think for next season will be a big face and that's this girl called Jordan Dunn who's a wonderful looking black girl. It's very, it's difficult for black girls and she's really making it. She did so well in New York. Um, we found her at the age of 14 in Primark in London and um, she was shopping with her mum and you know she's doing so well. She's just got everything that it takes and, and um, I'm, I'm, she's really my tip for the top. You know, I take the chances on people because I just get the feeling and suddenly have a sort of, you know, it's not something I think about. You know, it just doesn't worry me about taking people that aren't quite, you know, the right height or whatever.